Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to use the guide layout in Photoshop. Let's go. Now, let's see how the guide layout works. We open Photoshop. At the end of this video, spoiler alert, we are going to use these templates to check if what we've learned today is true or false. Now we go to new. And then we're going to deal with two widths and height. The first width and height is 1080 by 720. And the second is 1080 by 1080. Each of them, when arranged in the grid on Instagram, they have different lookup. For example, let's take the one of 1080 by 720. Okay, my friend posted earlier on Instagram and you can see how 1080 by 720 looks like. The grid looks like this. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, let's take for example the one of 1080 by 1080. 1080 will look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, let's take note that the 1080 by 720 by 720 we give you six posts then 1080 by 1080 will give you nine posts okay let's give you an example create 1080 by 720 okay so we fill it enter okay now we are going to go to view now we want to use the guide layout go to view and then new guide layout now in the new guide layout you see columns and rows so we'll say that the new guide layers is it consists of columns and rows the column here we we chose three which will give you three and then the rows will choose two this gutter, it means that it will cut out that place. That if you are doing maybe an arrangement for Instagram, like maybe a carousel. You can now take note, you can also use this guy layout to create your carousels on Instagram. So we don't want a gutter to be present. So we put it off as a zero. And then we'll press OK. Then we'll right click on the crop tool and then we choose the slice tool we click on this place slices from grids when you click on it it divides each of your each of the cutout lines you know the one that come from the top and the one that come from the left and right it cuts out them into different squares which can be posted on Instagram when exporting we do not use alt Control shift W no we will use alt Control shift s instead alt Control shift s will give you this tab which we will select everything high quality jpeg maximum and yes we choose save now when exporting this kind of photo you have to create a new folder maybe you want to name it anyone let's just say new folder yeah open and then you save in that folder let's look at that folder to see how the images were saved we'll go to the desktop new folder images now you see each of the images are saved one two three four five six okay for the test you see how it looks like whenever you are posting on instagram know this if you are posting a grid on instagram make sure you start from the last photo the last photo start it from the last photo at the bottom which is the number six when it's spotted and that number six is this one 
okay now let's take for example a 1080 by 1080 1080 by 1080 this would be the resolution now let's import an image inside 1080 by 1080 okay so we are going to go to where view yes new guide layout and we see two now we are going to select three change the rows number to three you see what you get here and then you press ok now they are divided into nine instead of six so the difference between the one of 1080 by 720 and 1080 by 1080 is that 1080 gives by 720 gives you six posts then the one of 1080 by 1080 gives you nine posts then you slice from grid after right clicking on the crop tool and go to slice tool you slice from grid and then what where spot control no alt control shift s save you create a new folder nine grids you open the folder and then you save okay now you can see that 1080 by 720 gives you this and 1080 by 1080 gives you this and so that's how you create an instagram grid on photoshop using the guide layout thank you for watching today's video and please don't forget to subscribe share it to someone who might need this and also comment on what you would like to see next i'll see you next time Peace out.